Hi, I'm Rose McDonough and I am a retired home ec teacher. Uh, my friend Janet had called me the other day and left me a message and said, Hey Rose, I haven't seen any Instant Pot recipes lately, so here I am taking care of Janet's request. Uh, we had to go somewhere tonight, so I needed to make something and I decided I have this recipe that's called Spicy Instant Pot Cilantro Lime Rice with Black Beans and Corn. But I need to make a dish to share, so I don't want just the side dish. So I decided to cook some chicken ahead of time, and that's how I began with it. I've already cooked the chicken in here. I put this on saute, got it all warmed up, and I have some broth that has cooked out. So I'm going to actually add the broth into my pot over, into my measuring cup over here, and I'm going to start on the recipe. I'm going to do this differently than I normally do. I'm going to start the recipe and then talk about it. So I need, oh, I don't know, a tablespoon, whatever. I need something just to start out because I want to start cooking my garlic. And I have three cloves of garlic. Three cloves, not heads, keep that in mind. Three cloves of garlic. This is going to smell so wonderful in just a second. I've got that going on, and it, it calls for about a cup of an onion. I just took a small onion and chopped it up, and that's what we're getting. I'm not measuring that out. And while this is cooking, let me talk about the recipe. I promised pork I was going to stay on my stool, but I, I think I'm going to need to get down because I'm a little bit too high to work on here. Sometimes, when you're cooking and you've got a lot of recipe, you all know how I am with my recipe. Oh, this is what it was like. Mm -hmm, I didn't like that. I changed it. This is what I changed it to. I originally got this from, it looks like Kitchen at Hoskins is where I originally found it. It's because I had been in Sam's Club one day, or Costco, I don't remember which one it was, and I had gotten this dish to try. And it was so good, it was frozen, and I thought, yeah, I have to try reproducing that myself because I don't want to spend this much money. So this is what I started coming up with and playing the game with. So I need a teaspoon of chili powder is what I've decided I need, a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of paprika, and a half a teaspoon of cumin. Sometimes when I've got a whole lot of stuff going on, especially when I have other people in the kitchen and I'm busy, I have the page protector and I will go through and mark, did I get this? Yes. Did I get this? Did I get this? Did I get this? And this is just a dry erase marker. So when I'm all finished with the recipe, all I'm going to do is go back and just wipe that back off again so that I'll have it for the next time. But because this has so many ingredients, that's why I wanted to make sure I was careful with it. I did pre-measure them out for myself this time, but that was the easiest way. Alright, so I just wanted to get those taken care of just a little bit, and now I'm going to, oh my gosh, they smell so good, I'm going to remove this. When I remove these onions, I'm going to put them back into the container I started with. You'll see that I have a little bit of brown marks at the bottom of my Instant Pot. Wow, that is loud. It doesn't matter if you have that in here because I'm going to add all kinds of other ingredients and it's going to take it away. The next thing I'm going to add is going to be a little bit of oil again and then all of my spices and my rice because I want to definitely flavor my rice. I have other ingredients that I'm going to add but because I'm taking this somewhere I'm going to add that on at the very end. So I still have it on saute. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil again just enough to kind of coat everything. I'm going to toss in my rice one cup doesn't matter. You could use uh, a jasmine rice. You could use uh, basmati. I might be saying that wrong, but that's the rice that you can use. I'm using a white long grain rice. Whatever you're doing, don't make it an instant rice. You don't want it to be something that's going to cook up in seconds. It needs some time to cook. And then I'm going to start adding in all of these spices that I pre-measured out. You might notice i got a whole lot of other stuff going on over here. I've just pre-measured everything. Again, because it's such a busy recipe, I like to get everything ready ahead of time. The other thing that you can possibly do is start out with all of your ingredients on one side. When you measure, move it to the other side of your countertop, and that way you can be sure that you measured it. There's nothing worse, especially when you're baking, saying, 
Did I add the baking soda yet? Did I add the baking powder yet? Well, it really matters if you did add that. You can generally tell if you added the flour, but those little things you can't. All right, so I have this coated just a little bit here, and it looks not too bad. I'm trying to get some flavoring added in. We want it to be coated because that's gonna be part of what's gonna make it delicious later. And I am going to cancel this off. I want to make sure that you can see what it looks like on the inside. All the rice, what used to be white rice, is no longer white rice. It has the coloring to it. You can see it steaming, I believe, so you know that it was really hot in there. But now we've canceled it out. So now I'm going to add in, I need a cup. But gosh, I have almost a cup and a half here. So I'm going to hold off on that last little bit which was the extra that I added in because I don't want to make my rice soggy at this point. Because I am taking it somewhere later, I'll be fine. It'll en end up absorbing into the other ingredients that I'm going to put in here later. All right, let's get this started so I can go on and talk about other stuff. Oh, I'm gonna get my rubber scraper out here. There we go. I don't want to lose any of that chili powder. I want that chili powder in here, not in there. All right, that's it. Stepping down again. If I look at my directions, it's going to tell me a couple of different directions. That was one of the reasons I like this recipe. One is it tells you to, you can go ahead, put the lid on, put it on rice cooking, which will automatically come up to 12 minutes. Or if you look in the book, it tells you if you're going to do high pressure that you want to do a one-to-one -one ratio with your rice and with your liquid and then it tells you four minutes. I'm actually going to go with cooking it for rice because it's just going to be easier for me. I'm going to add all of my ingredients. Put my lid on, vent it closed, and I'm going to find there's soup, broth, meat stew, bean chili, cake, egg, slow cooked saute, rice. And just like I said, it comes on high pressure and it comes on for 12 minutes. Now normally what would happen is while this was cooking, I would start gathering my other ingredients together, but I've already gathered my other ingredients. And my other ingredients are, I have a cup of corn. What kind of corn? Well, if you want to use fresh corn off the cob, you certainly can use that. But just know that you're going to have to saute that ahead of time and just warm that up and maybe add a little bit of liquid to it so that it starts cooking. You can use a cup of frozen corn or you can use a cup of canned corn. A can, a large can, is just about a cup and a half to a cup and three quarters depending on what brand you're using. So you could add it all in if you wanted to or you can measure it out and save some of that corn for a later time. I also, you can use fresh beans that you have cooked and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I have black beans here that I'm using. I went ahead, I opened up my can of black beans, I rinsed them, and I let them drain. How do you know black beans? People say they don't like it. Brooke doesn't like beans at all. But some people say they don't like it because they don't like how it looks. They don't like the texture, whatever. I tell people that when you're adding it into, especially a Mexican dish, when you're adding it in, see how dull they are? As you cook them, they become darker and they become a little bit more shiny. As they do that, they take on the flavor of whatever you're having them with. At this time, I'm going to have them with chili powder. I'm going to have them with onion powder, paprika cumin. I'm also going to be using at a later time cilantro and lime. So it's going to take on the flavor of other foods. It's a lot like tofu like that. You're still going to get that texture if you don't like texture, but at least it will take on some other flavors. So I have this. I have also pre-measured out two teaspoons of lime juice. I could have used limes. And I'm going to use this at the very end. I'm going to slice it and just lay it over top of it before I serve it. But I decided I wanted to go with lime juice because I didn't want to be squeezing all the limes. But I have a little bit there. And you can use fresh cilantro, but I don't have any, so I'm using dried cilantro. The other ingredients, it's different. They, how they come, they're already crushed up. But with this cilantro, before I would add it, I want to crunch it up. The difference is it breaks the oils loose and it will taste much better. 
So we're going to stop because this is going to need a few minutes. And I don't know if I remember to say, I sauteed my chicken first because I wanted to add chicken to this because, again, I want it to be a hearty dish, not just a side dish, but a main dish that I can offer when we go to the party tonight. All right, see you in just a blink of an eye. Okay, so we've had 12 minutes of cooking the rice. I did five minutes of a natural release, and it took uh, just about a minute of additional turning it off for letting it to let the pressure off. And I'm going to pull it up here, and the rice is brown because I had all of those seasonings in there. So I'm just going to kind of, I don't know what the word is that I'm using. I guess I'm going to just scrape the rice up and fluff it some. Usually when you fluff, you use a fork, but I'm using, of course, a rubber scraper because I want to get it, oh, it's hot, off the bottom. To this, it's now plumped up and it's ready to go. I need to use to let you be able to see it. Um, well, let me just pull it out like this. So it's plumped up and it's ready to go. To this, I'm going to add back in some of my other ingredients. I'm putting my onions that I sauteed for just about three minutes and my garlic in there. I'm also going to add in the corn. And I'm not at this moment going to add in the chicken. I'm going to add in the beans. And I'm going to add in the cilantro, which remember it's dry, so I'm going to crush it and bring it back to life by putting it in, and the two teaspoons of lime juice. I also sliced up a little bit of limes so that I can have that to put on the top of it to take with me. If you have an Instant Pot, the coolest thing about an Instant Pot no, it's not the coolest thing about the Instant Pot. There's a lot of cool things about an Instant Pot. I am sold on them. It. It's one of my favorite appliances. One of the things I really like and appreciate about the Instant Pot is that I have sauteed all of my chicken and my onions and my garlic in it. Canceled that out. Added into here. Cooked my rice in here. Canceled it back out. I'm adding my other ingredients into here. You could, in fact, pressurize it if you wanted to for another two or three minutes. Or, with the heat that's left in here, put your lid back on and it would cook everything through. Or you could saute it for another minute or so if you wanted to until those black beans became cooked through. But I'm going somewhere. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to add all of my ingredients to it and I'm going to turn it on slow cook. We're going to be leaving in about a half an hour. So I'm going to turn it on slow cook, and while it's on slow cook, it's just heating up and warming up, just like a slow cooker does. And that's one of my things that I like about it, because I've only had one dish to take care of. Because I'm adding all this extra stuff in, and I know it's going to sit for a while, remember the extra broth that I had? Just a, about a third of a cup. I'm adding that extra broth in there that I made from cooking the chicken, and I'm going to add all of that to there. All I'm doing is going across the bottom and lifting up. It's almost like I'm folding, but it's just a way to mix here. Stir around, go to the bottom, lift up and turn. See how nice it looks? All of that extra broth has already gotten absorbed in, and as I have it on slow cook, it'll slowly plump up the rice even a little bit more if I would choose to have it. Once I get it there, I want it to open it up and look nice, and because it's lime, I'm just going to add some lime on top of it just for a finishing touch. You could add a little more paprika on there, but why? It already has that orangish color to it. I think that it looks beautiful like that. I mean, here it clicking, I'm canceling everything off, and I'm turning it back on to the slow cook. Once I turn it on, it tells it it's here for four hours. I'm only going to do a half an hour. I'm going to unplug it, take it to my sister-in-law's house, plug it back in again, and it will stay on for another four hours. That's it. It's a delicious dish. I've made a side dish. If you do not want to use the chicken, it's just a side dish. You can add... Uh, shrimp to this, which is the last time I made it. I added shrimp to it, and it was absolutely delicious. You choose whatever you want to do to make it. If you don't like beans, don't add the beans to it, but keep in mind it's just going to have a little bit different of a flavor, and you may want to adjust the lime juice. Love that noise. You know it's working. All right, let's see. I'm um, getting lower here today. Let's see, name. I almost pulling out three. Jen Brown! 
thanks Jen so much for always watching and for recommending me to people I really appreciate it she is one of my biggest supporters and I'm one of her biggest supporters she's a guidance counselor and I think she's wonderful and the other one is Morgan Lee L-E-I-G-H I'm not a hundred percent sure who Morgan Lee is I believe that Morgan Lee just had a little baby if she's the right person that I'm thinking of a little guy named Weston but I could be wrong on that name thank you also the rest of you who are watching I appreciate you stopping by please like subscribe do all those things that you're supposed to do but most importantly give feedback especially if you've tried a dish so I know that you like it thank you have a great night